All right, you've seen the ads. DNA testing companies are urging people to take a scientific look at where they came from. For many people who got DNA testing kits during the holidays, the results are starting to come in. And Rod Carter is here now to explain why some folks may be in for a surprise. Yeah, these things are a big deal right now. Mm. I think I read somewhere like 12 million people have taken now, those DNA wife, tests. I got my wife one. I've taken, I'm still waiting I've on my results, but you're scaring them. me. Yeah, well, don't be scared, <laughs> but just, just be forewarned. You know, a lot of people go looking for answers about their heritage, and uh, some of people are adoptees. They're trying to find their birth parents, and, you know, birth parents trying to find their children they put up for adoption. But for others, the results really are not exactly what they expected. In fact, sometimes the results tell some deep secrets that have been held for years. Order your kit at AncestryDNA.com. DNA testing is all the rage for family background, health answers, family country of origin. Several years ago, I took an African Ancestry DNA test to determine where my family was from beyond the bounds of slavery. We found out my maternal line's roots are in Cameroon. My dad was 100% Scottish. So I told WFLA producer Nancy Ryan about that test. She decided to take one of her own to confirm her own Scottish heritage. I said to my brothers and sisters, how about if I take one and we'll see how much of dad's 100% Scottish comes out. And her worst fear? What if it's like com something completely different? Came true. The man who raised me wasn't really my father. It was devastating. It was, it was a tremendous loss. It was like he had died again. I loved him. What happened to Nancy happens a lot. People take the test. They wait weeks for the results and realize that the answer isn't always black and white. I thought, this has got to be it. I have to be a descendant of this man's. Dan Eggleston traced his father's line hundreds of years back using the traditional genealogy methods. He took a DNA test just to confirm it. Spiked the ball, basically, and uh, it, was, it was a shock. Shock, because the results showed Dan's grandfather was not his father's biological dad. Uh, my dad was lucky, right? Uh, he, there was a man there from the moment he was born that was there and raised him all throughout his life. That man wasn't his biological father. Did he know? I don't know. But can you trust the results of DNA testing companies? And there are quite a few of them there. These tests are very popular, and I think part of it is the advertising. Drew Smith, an associate librarian at the University of South Florida and a local genealogist, tells me people doing these tests need to use traditional research as well. We realize that DNA testing is the, the hot, cool thing right now, if I can say that. And as a result, it gets people interested. It gets people to talk about their families. But really, the hard work, the, the work's going to take some time, is the traditional research. I decided to take another test, this one from Ancestry.com, and I will compare the results with that test to the one I took a few years ago and then keep doing the traditional research. I was um, lost a little bit. I first thought there had to be a mistake. In the meantime, people like Nancy and Dan are emotionally coming to terms with learning who they are is not who they thought they were. It was pretty devastating because I had done a lot of research on that line. A lot. It's like somebody took a big bite out of your life. That's a great way to put it. It is tough when these uh, things come back and people have held on to these secrets for years and years and they learn the truth simply through DNA. But it's important to know what that truth is and once you actually do, and that is kind of when the real journey begins for a lot of people. Wow. I've yeah. talked to Nancy a little bit about that. I yeah. Mean, it is shocking, and, and, and as you pointed out there. But you've taken more tests. I saw I you putting it in the mail. Have you gotten any results back? You know what? I did not get the results back just yet. In fact, I got an email yesterday that said that we're backlogged, so give it a little bit more more time so a lot of people are doing this so. yeah, from the holidays uh, yeah. probably a lot of them back but there. I'll keep you posted I, I'm dying to see what it says myself yeah, Mr. Cameron we'll see exactly we'll see if it all lines up the right? all right thank you Rod sure